Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I'm reading another fabulous book called Edwina the Emu. It's written by Sheena Knowles and illustrated by Rod Clement. And I love this book and the illustrations in it. And doesn't Edwina look fancy in her ballet gear? Now this book doesn't have a blurb. It's just got another shoe and Edwina's body. So the writer and the illustrator are just going to use your visual clues today to guess what this book's about. Can you guess? Well, we know Edwina's an emu, we can see that, and she's wearing a tutu and ballet shoes. So I wonder what she's up to. Let's find out. <laughs> I love that her hair is pulled back. What little tiny tuft she has. There once were two emus who lived in the zoo. One was Edwina and Edward was two. Hmm, a rhyming book. Happy days. They played every day. There was never a fight and they cuddled up close to keep warm every night. As they sat there one day, entwining their legs, Edwina announced she'd laid ten little eggs. Yeek! shouted Edward. He seemed to be choking. Ten little emus, you've got to be joking. I am not, said Edwina, but don't get depressed. I'll look for a job. You stay on the nest. Ten babies to look after. wonder why Edwina's going to get the job. An ad in the paper said, dance the ballet. If you've got the legs, we're willing to pay. Great, said Edwina. That would be fine. I'll hop on a bus and I'll be there at nine. Well, she's definitely got the legs. <laughs> the director called out for the next ballerina and onto the stage stepped the lovely Edwina. She whirled and she waltzed, she twirled and she leapt. Then she twisted her legs in a grand pirouette. Yeek! the man shouted. He seemed to be choking. An emu dance ballet? You've got to be joking. I'm not, said Edwina, but don't laugh at me. I'll find the right job soon. You just wait and see. She's being very persistent, isn't she? An ad in the paper said chimney to sweep. Stick your neck out, you could make a heap. Hmm, well, emus are good at sticking their heads out. I will, cried Edwina. Now this will be fun. I'll hop on a bus and I'll be there by one. Up on the roof, the wind whistled about. I'm ready, the lady below shouted out. I'll just be a minute, Edwina called back. Then she pushed till she popped through, bristled and black. Okay, so that's actually probably a pretty good idea if you're an emu to go through the whole chimney and use your feathers as the duster of the chimney. <laughs> Yeek, said the lady. She seemed to be choking. An emu sweep chimneys? You've got to be joking. I'm not, said Edwina, but don't laugh at me. I'll find the right job soon. You just wait and see. I love these drawings. Look at the expression on that lady's face. An ad in the paper said, waiter required. If you're quick on your feet, you're sure to be hired. Yes, said Edwina, that's perfect for me. I'll hop on a bus and I'll be there by three. Me and three. Edwina served tea to a man in a hat. Would you like me to bring you a meal with that? Yes, said the man, I'll have sausages fried with a couple of nice runny eggs on the side. Oh, she's very good at this job too. Yeek, said Edwina. She seemed to be choking. You want to eat eggs? <gasps> You've got to be joking. I'm not, said the man. Eating eggs is the best. Once I ate ten of them, straight from a nest. <gasps> Poor Edwina, she looks furious. Do you eat eggs? I actually like to eat eggs too. 
Edwina ran out. She ran into the street. It was true when she said she was quick on her feet. Taxi, she cried. Take me home. Make it fast. I know what the right job for me is at last. Oh, what do you think the right job for her is? If you just had babies, what would you want to be doing with them? It was late when Edwina got back to the nest. You're late, muttered Edward, and I need a rest. You're right, said Edwina. From now on we share. I'll sit on the nest. You pull up a chair. <gasps> there once were twelve emus who lived in the zoo. One was Edwina and Edward was two. Then Fluffy and Scruffy and Sniffily Sneeze and Fatty and Footloose and Knobbly Knees and Lollipop Legs and Shortening and Squeak and the last little emu... They called that one Yeek! <laughs> now, why do you think there's 12? Hmm. If there were two at the start and then there were 10 eggs and all 10 eggs hatched, 10 plus 2 is 12. I just love this story so much. What a great fun story. And I love that they ended up sharing looking after the chicks because that would be a big enough job with 10 of them. Can you imagine? Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time when I might even read Edward the emu and see what he gets up to. Bye for now.